Nearly 10 years ago, I opened a copy of Plastic Ahoy in my elementary school library. Thinking about our upcoming Earth Day celebration, I began reading parts of the book with our young students. The beautiful photographs of animals, scientists, and their interesting research were captivating. And true to its ocean theme, Plastic Ahoy brought a wave of curiosity, then passion for our oceans, to our young readers. I'd like to share some of the results in celebration of the 10th anniversary of this important book. We reduced waste in our library by reusing art supplies like markers in new ways. We sorted and dismantled dried up markers. We found other purposes for the caps and barrels. We made watercolor ink from the dried cores and tips. Then we decorated our halls with beautiful watercolor ink paintings. As we worked and created, the students found their voices and used them in the service of our oceans. They wrote persuasive postcards to local politicians, asking for them to advocate for clean oceans. They entered local Earth Day poster contests as well. And they brought the message to our school community with passion. Wanted posters around school sparked plastic waste awareness. We created a mural about marine life to spread the word about World Oceans Day. From inside the library, it looked like stained glass. When this happened at our school, they were over the moon. And Patricia, one of the inspirational creators of our favorite book, even came to visit us. Ten years later, we are still grateful and still sharing Plastic Ahoy with students. Thank you, Patricia and Annie, for ten years of inspiration and wisdom from this beautiful and important book.